Welcome to my tutorial on Google Slides, by far my favorite Google Apps productivity tool. Learn everything you will need to know to be an expert Google Slides user. I'll be going through the video pretty quickly, so make sure you pause the video and try out the features that I will be showing you. Let's get started. First, you can go to drive.google.com. Click on New, then Slides, to create a new blank slides presentation or choose one of Google's templates. Also, if you have an existing presentation that you created in another program like Microsoft's PowerPoint or Apple's Keynote, you can import and convert them to slides presentations by going to New, File Upload, and choosing the presentation. Another way you can get started is to go to slides.google.com. Here you can see your recent presentations and filter them by owner. At the top, click on Template Gallery to see all the different types of presentation templates. Let's go ahead and create a blank presentation. On the right, you have themes to choose from. You can also create your own template and import it as a theme here. First, type in the title of your presentation at the top left corner. Before I begin my work, I always go to Page Setup. Go to File, Page Setup, and choose the ratio that you want your slides to be. I like my presentations to be widescreen, but many of you work on presentations in the standard 4 by 3 ratio. Here's the title slide. Click in the text boxes to add text. To modify anything on your slide, go to the toolbar at the top. Change the font on the text by clicking on the text box or highlighting the text and then going to the toolbar. You can also add more fonts if you don't like what you see in the list. Select your favorite fonts, click OK, and then they will be added to the list. Next to the font style is the font size and text color. These features will not appear if you don't select text or the text box. Let's go ahead and insert a new slide. Click on the plus button, or if you have a specific layout, click on the drop down arrow. You can also move around the slides to place them in the order of your choosing. In the toolbar, you can change the background of the slide, its layout, and also its theme. As you can see, the font style and size are changed back into its default settings. It would be incredibly tedious to create new slides and make all the changes over and over again. To combat this, I go to View, then Master, where I can make changes to my master slide which will then affect every other slide in the presentation. This is important to me because I prefer specific fonts, sizing, and spacing for my presentations. So now when I insert a new slide, all my preferences are present. All right, back to the second slide. Let's create a text box. Click and drag to create a box. You have additional options in the toolbar to align, line space, add numbered or bulleted lists, decrease and increase indentation, and clear formatting. You can also add a link to text by highlighting the text and clicking on the link icon. You can link the text to a specific slide or to a URL. Slides also provide you with suggestions of websites and your Google app documents based on the text you typed. To delete any items on the slide, click on the item and press delete on your keyboard. This works for anything on Google Slides. To delete multiple items, highlight the items, or hold shift on your keyboard and select all the items. You can move them all together at once, and even modify the items all at the same time. I will go ahead and delete the text boxes. Now let's add images to the slide. Click on the image icon, or go to insert, then image. You can upload an image from your computer. I have an image on my desktop, so I'll drag it into my box. You can crop your image by double-clicking it and adjusting the small black boxes. You can also mask the image by clicking on the drop-down arrow and choosing a shape. When inserting an image, you can also take a snapshot of yourself. Make sure to click the Allow button on the Adobe Flash Player settings to access your camera and mic. You can paste in an image URL, add an image from your Google Plus albums, from your Google Drive, and even from Google Life and Stock Images. Now let's insert a video. Again, go to Insert, Video, and search for videos from YouTube, 
paste a URL of a YouTube video, or add a video from your Google Drive. I'll go ahead and search for my YouTube tutorial on how to use Google Drive. You can double click on the video to play it, or you can go to present mode. You can also insert a chart. Let's choose a bar graph. You can change the data by clicking on this icon that will send you to a Google Sheet. Change the data and go back to the slide and click update to see the changes. I'm going to also add a table, identifying the dimensions of the table. I'll go ahead and copy the data from the spreadsheet by pressing Command C for Mac or Control C for Windows, then pasting it into the table with Command V for Macs or Control V for Windows. Next up are shapes. There are shapes, arrows, callouts, and equations. All of them can be used for different purposes. I sometimes use shapes for decorative purposes. First choose a shape, then click and drag to create the shape. You can change its color, as well as its line color. I always make my lines transparent. You can rotate your shape by using the small circle at the top. And also flip the shape by going to Arrange, Rotate, and Flip. I can also customize the color by going to Custom and changing the darkness or lightness of the color, its opacity, and also inserting an HTML color code. I'm going to go ahead and make my green a bit transparent. Now we have a decorative border. Shapes can also be used to create mind maps. Let's add a few shapes in the slide. Double click on these shapes to add text. Select a specific type of line. I'll use an arrow. When hovering over your shape, you will find small blue circles that you can click on to start your line and drag it to a specific location or to another shape's blue circle. You can change the line weight, dash, start, and end. There are additional line tools like Scribble where you can draw freely with your mouse or trackpad. It's a great feature for signing your signature. We also have elbow connectors, curve connectors, curve, and polyline tools. You can use the curve or polyline tools to create a vector image. Here are some vector images I created using Google Slides. I want to insert a vector image I created on another presentation into this presentation. To do this, go to Insert, Import Slide, and select the presentation. Then choose the slide or slides you want to import. As you can see, my Panda vector image is made up of shapes that I created using the Polyline tool. To undo my actions, hold Command-Z for Macs or Control-Z for Windows. Here's how you use the Polyline tool. Choose the tool and click the corners of your shape and connect it back to the starting point. Creating and putting together your shapes will create your vector image. Double click on the shape to see the nodes that you can manipulate to adjust the shape. I like to use the zoom tool to zoom in and make precise edits. and then click here to zoom out to fit. Under View, you can find more options to zoom in and out. Also, let's say you'd like a shape or an object to go behind another item. You can hold Command for Macs or Control for Windows and press the down arrow on your keyboard, or bring it back up by pressing the up arrow. Since this image is a logo, I'm going to add the logo name. Go to Insert, and then word art to create decorative text that you can manipulate easier than you can with the text box. If you want to change the size of the word art but not change the proportions, simply hold shift and adjust the sizing. Check out the description below to find a link to a video that I made that shows you how to create your own vector images. Another cool feature is animation, where objects in your slide are in motion during presentation mode. First click on an object and go to view then animation. On the right, click on 
Add Animation, and choose an animation type, then the start condition, and finally the speed of the animation. I will give my next image an animation as well. You can choose which objects will be animated first. Click play and try out your animations. You can also add slide transitions, which are animation-like effects that occur when you move from one slide to the next. To do this, click on the slide on the left, then slide and change transition. Or you can simply click on the transition button in the toolbar, then choose a specific transition. You can click this button to apply the transition to every slide. Click play to see what the transition will look like. The best part about Google Slides is that you can collaborate with others in real time and leave feedback and questions you might have for your team members. To share your presentation, click on the blue share button. Type in the email addresses of the people you want to share with, choose what kind of access you want them to have, and then click send. To leave comments for feedback or questions, click on an item, like this slide, then click on the add comment button, and type in your comment. If the comment is for a specific person, type in their email address. And if it's a task he or she needs to complete, check the box to assign that comment to that person. The person will be notified via email. If you go to File, you will see the option to make a copy of your presentation, move your presentation to a specific folder in your Google Drive, see the revision history of who made edits to what part of your presentation, Publish your presentation through a link or embedded code for a blog or a website. And finally, download your presentation in a different format. If ever I create a vector image with Google Slides, I download the image on a specific slide by clicking on the slide and then downloading it as a JPEG image or PNG file. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned a lot about this powerful tool. Please click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.